The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says radioactive water leaking into the sea from a concrete pit was stopped on Wednesday morning. Tokyo Electric Power Company plans to check if this action has produced any other new leaks. At 5.38 a.m., we confirmed that the water flow from the concrete pit into the ocean stopped. TEPCO on Saturday spotted leaking water contaminated with high level of radioactive substances coming from a crack in the pit of the number two reactor. The utility company said the contaminated water was coming from a damaged pipe onto the gravel, then into the pit and finally out to the sea. The utility company had tried a variety of measures to stop the water flow. On Tuesday, workers drilled a hole to reach the gravel below the pit and poured 1,500 liters of hardening agent called liquid glass. TEPCO says this stopped the flow as of Wednesday morning. The company released a photo of the water no longer flowing into the ocean. The latest move comes as the company continues to release low-level radioactive water from the plant into the sea. The discharge started on Monday to free storage space for higher-level radioactive water. As of 11 p.m. on Tuesday, 5,600 tons had been expelled into the ocean. TEPCO has been trying to contain radioactive dust by spraying synthetic resin around the reactors. The company says it will continue this successful operation. TEPCO has disclosed its giving money to municipalities and residents in areas where evacuation instructions have been issued. Company officials told reporters on Tuesday it began the payments to 10 municipalities on March 31st. They're within a 20-kilometer radius of Fukushima Daiichi and a 10-kilometer radius of Fukushima Daini, where residents have been instructed to evacuate. TEPCO said it also plans to pay compensation after looking into the situation of residents who have left their homes and the damage that has resulted from restrictions on shipments of agricultural produce. One of the municipalities, the town of Namie, said it has refused an offer from TEPCO to pay about $240,000 to each municipality near the power plant. The town said it cannot understand why a flat amount is being offered regardless of the population. Namie said the figure would amount to less than $12 per person and would not help their lives.